This is uh, my um, old PVO, um, starting to play up consistently now. So I've already pulled the power supply out of it because when I measured it in circuit, um, uh, the 12 volts seemed to have a quite a bit of noise on it. So I'm going to take a closer look at that module. Okay, so here's the power supply module. Yeah, that goes to the hard drive and that goes to the main board. Sorry, the other way around. That goes to the hard drive, that goes to the main board. And that's um, some on off sensor, or I think it switches the power supply on and off. Um, relatively simple. It's just um, it's the simple switch mode power supply there. As it's normal rectification, that's a common mode choke, fuse, a regulator, or yeah. You know, Flyback regulator. Um, you've got your got some separation there. And you've got your optical sensor for feedback from the primary, uh, from the, the secondary. Um, so it has uh, 3.3 volts, um, and uh, the regulation looks like it's on 3.3 volts. Uh, diodes. So, so there's three rails in all, 3.3 volts, um, 5 volts, and 12 volts. The 5 volts got uh, two regulators, and the 12 volts got one. And the 12 volts are three amp regulator. But curiously, um, uh, they've only got like a 470 microfarad on that that uh, regulator. It's the low dropout regulator. Uh, so it's got separate windings as far as I can tell for each of the supplies, but like I said, it regulates uh, the secondary on the 3.3 the volt side. Uh, so there's no low dropout regulator on that. Um, so um, the 12 volts is the one that was giving me trouble, so it's going to concentrate on that for the moment. For what we see, the microfarad capacitor, which I measured in circuit, doesn't look so, doesn't measure so well. I have a hard time recognising it as being a, a capacitor to begin with. So the 12 volts got two. Two connections, so we've got one 12 volt here. There's a leak across there to the regulator. That's uh, the the in, that's the out, and it splits off at two ways. There's a link across there to this this wire here, and, and then it right, folds back onto here to the electrolytic capacitor, which is uh, apparently 470 microfarads. But it doesn't measure very well, so uh, just in circuit anyway. Uh, so if I just let the um, the device choose, it's an auto LCR, so it should um, um, determine what the um, what the correct mode is. So it's currently in the parallel capacitance, and uh, if we take a look, is it 470 there? some reason it switches into um, resistance mode and it seems to think there's 70 67 ohms across that 12 volt rail so that doesn't sound right okay. yep. resistance measure So it does not. So we need to tell it that it's a capacitance. So any capacitance. That's 136 microfarads. It's 37 microfarads. Uh, So according to that, the ESR 66, 67 ohms. 
So well, let's uh, rip it out. Uh, the capacitor itself doesn't doesn't look bad. Doesn't look like it's leaked. Maybe slightly bulging. There, yeah, maybe slightly bulging. Not really. But, um, yeah. Off with its head. JH 105 degrees C XM 16 volt 470 microfarads. Yes, we shall see. Shouldn't be any reason why that wouldn't work in circuit there. But, uh, let's put that on the negative side just in case. Well, you know, just, uh, this is a pumps in an AC signal. Yeah, so it's uh, developed um, quite a substantial resistance, 36 ohms, leaking. It's more resistor than capacitor. Makes you wonder what else is the problem. Okay, let me have a run which I don't, I'm, I'm not going to have any new parts to suit that, but let's have a run which. I did find a, a 470 microfarad uh, electrolytic, so you can see that it measures as uh, 450 microfarads with a, a 50 milliohm ESR. Um, look at the size of it. <laughs> it's supposed to be the same rating, 470 microfarads. But uh, all right, it's an itchy kind, and that's also you know like 20, 30 years old. But surely. Technology hasn't improved that much, has it? Okay, so I've had a bit of a rummage around, a bit of um, pilfering, and I've got a big selection of, uh, well, big enough selection of uh, capacitors here. So this is the original 470 microfarads with a, it's more resistant than capacitor. So 4, 470, uh, so these are. The Nichi cons from 30 odd years ago, has it got a date code on it? 1980. Alright, so <laughs> what's that? Um, uh, uh, tw 20, 36 years ago. No, 37. Oh, yeah, 36, turning, going on to 37 years ago. Next, we've got Jammy Con, which uh, measured. Well, let's measure it again because uh, th these are all sort of 0 0.1, you know, sort of in the 100 milliamp range. These are below 100 milliamp. Uh, so to get this particular meter is a bit of a cantankerous thing. So in order to, for me to get um, uh, the ESR, I've got to, at least as far as I want to remember, I need to get it into its fixed capacitance mode and then cycle through. Otherwise, it won't let me. I don't know whether there's a firmware update or not. So the, the Jamicon 470 microfarads, 16 volt, comes up as 390 microfarads at uh, 60 milliamps. Yeah, not bad. Just to uh, recall that the, the the 36 year old was uh, nearly bang on with 40 milliamps. Look at the size of it, obviously. Uh, then the next on the, on the ranks was um, well, you know, I, I got the diameter and I don't care too much about the height as far as I can tell. So let's go with these TPO <laughs> um, there's a microfarad 16 volts, and so they measured up surprisingly well. So 160 microfarads, it's 60 uh, milli 
suppose. And 50 million is for 930 microfarads. So I'm inclined to go to the 50 million one, this TPO. Will it fit? Where is it? Lights fit. Well, the joints on here seem to be fine. Uh, when I looked at them before, with the exception of this ball, balls in. What's this guy here? Might be able to just see the lead is just sitting. So I did push it a little bit. That's the replacement capacitor I put in there. So we've got a thousand microfarad there, a thousand microfarad there, a thousand microfarad there, um, two thousand two hundred microfarad capacitor there. And uh, by the shape of that, I'd say that's a thousand microfarad. So. Let's go and measure all of those. So that that's the twelve volt one. So I've actually got more capacitance on the output of the regulator than I've got on the uh, on the re on the rectified side. Yeah. So so it was just that that one capacitor that was Duff, which would confirm. Uh, like what my voltage measurements that I did. Oh, I suppose I should check the mains one, shouldn't I? Make sure there is no voltage. Should change the ESR. Yeah. That's 750 milliamps, 59 microfarads. And it is. Sixty-eight microfarads at uh, 400 volts. Okay, just a matter of putting screws back in. I couldn't even bother bringing the mains cable over. Well, I'll test it over, over by the TV. Okay, so we're getting that mains cable in. Let's unplug the other end. Obviously. And 12 volts we've got. Actually, that's a hell of a lot less noise than I had before. Um, so, a minimum of 11.3 and a maximum of 13.2. And if we start the program. 
so that's fine. I feel like that's definitely a bit more noise in it. Quite a lot of noise, 5.8, nearly 2 volts of noise in it. Can't really get the total watt circuit, that circuitry is not. It's probably that, um, that uh, 800 microfarad that the capacitor going in. That should be the. Which one is that? So we've got about the same noise as the 5 volt. So yeah, if, if it starts playing up more, I might increase the capacitance on that um, that thousand microfarad capacitor there. So we shall see how it fares. So we finish up with a shot of the crept out capacitor.